After a somewhat underwhelming performance by Sarah Fuller, women kicking footballs has been off of a lot of people's minds for quite some time. I mean, even mine. But doing some uh, pursuing of YouTube content led me to stumble across the WFA, the Women Football Alliance. And you know, when I saw that this existed, I knew I had to make a video on it. Now, before I start, there's some things I'd like to just kind of clarify. Okay, so most of the people in the WFL haven't been playing the sport since they were like you know 12 13 14 like most of us and most of them work full-time jobs and do this for fun since it's a semi-pro league and i promise if you take a look at the male semi-pro league counterparts across the nation while some of them might have you know some pretty legit punters many don't so i just want to preface that because i think the most unfair thing you can do in this situation is like compare them to nfl where you have essentially the most elite athletes in the world and the best specialists in the world where we have taken decades to literally perfect this craft to the level that we're at and even then you still have some embarrassing flukes at this level but the first thing i'd say watching the nfl is that it did look a lot like looking into a time capsule for special teams. While there was a good balance of pass and run plays resembling a more modern NFL scheme, the special teams were surprisingly far behind in scheme itself, which is understandable. In the early ages of the game where everybody is on just about equal footing, why go for a gloryless kicking role when you could go and be a star QB or wide receiver? For guys like me, I punted pretty much out of necessity if I wanted to play the sport. I got concussed early and was a late bloomer as far as height and athletic ability, so I just had to punt to even contribute on my high school football team. Most of these women I researched were star athletes in their respective sports, many of them coming over from basketball and soccer backgrounds, just looking for something to scratch that full contact itch. So understandably, not too many people put the time and effort into punting, kicking, and long snapping as what they wanted to do, uh, especially since those specific positions are known for being super low contact, very meticulous and frustrating to learn and requiring you using a lot of your own free time. That being said, let's first start off by breaking down the game film. The game that I'm watching is the All-American game because I figured, hey, what better way to see what's going on than watching the best of the best get after it on the football field. The first thing that we're going to look at is the first punt by Sarah Monte. She's the punter for the Detroit Dark Angels. So first of all, I love that name, the Detroit Dark Angels. That's super edgy. I feel like those uniforms would be absolute gas but we also have our first gaff of the special teams because it looks like the punt is partially blocked and they kind of knock her over and you'd think in an all-star game uh you know they wouldn't be blocking punts but no 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 you'd be very surprised to see that the effort they put into this game is really high i mean people are flying around trying to make plays there's actually a lot of pretty good hits in here which is something that you would not expect to see uh, uh, look at you look at you see you thought i was about to say not expect to see in the wfl no i was gonna say not expect to see in a game similar to the pro bowl yes sexist but after a running into the punter call they go three and out again and she gets to line back up for another punt but once again you don't get to see a much better situation for our friend sarah here because the snap goes flying over her head uh she was recovered and is able to get it off but what i really liked here was a phenomenal heads up play by the opposing team's returner as they just pick it up off the bounce and are able to run it forward for a couple yards uh, the next play that we're going to look at is the kickoff now this is the spot i thought i'd see a lot more struggle in especially after watching the sarah fuller incident but the kicker we're looking at today is elena lang and first thing i'm going to say is that she has the ball really tilted back which we'll talk about later as why that's kind of a hindrance but what I do want to say, because I want to start off positive, is that this kick is unironically better than many kickoffs I've seen at college games that I've been at in the past and high school games. So the next playing question is a nice little field goal attempt where Elena puts it right through. Her form and steps are honestly pretty smooth. The height of the ball makes me think she's like kind of scooping beneath it a little bit too much, which happens when a lot of soccer players kick footballs. Uh, but let me reiterate, I've watched many soccer guys come over and try to play football as a kicker, and they have had much less success than Elena has. So super big kudos to her. She's also one of the stars on that team and was up there playing wide receiver and just doing some fantastic things on the field as well. Next was a close range punt. And this is what I was really excited to see because this requires a lot of good game knowledge, a lot of good 
sense of what's going on around you. And I was very pleasantly surprised again when the return team runs up and grabs it out of the air to make a play. So many people, when they have that low line drive ball, are just going to let it go in fear of muffing it and hope that it rolls into the end zone. But she just runs straight up there, grabs it up, and darts away up the field, sealing a chance to play the field position game and ensures the fact that they'll get good starting field position. So now we get our first good look at the other team's kicker, Kim Kimmel. And she, you can see she has pretty good tilt on the ball, which is really hindering her ability to get it to take flight off the tee. So the fact that she's even kicking it as far as she are is a testament to her own ability. Uh, the next kickoff comes up to start the second half and is a great example of why we should have the ball a little bit more straight up and down because you can see that Lang here, she tries to cut beneath it, but sort of has to like swipe her foot beneath to get under the ball. So I think both kickers and well, any kicker anywhere could really use this tip at the very least, keep the ball straight up and aim for a spot about a third of the way up a ball. I know this isn't like the best coaching advice. I'm not really a kicker, but I think any tip here could help because I know in leagues like this, they probably don't get a lot of coaching tips for kicking if they get any at all. So Kim Kimmel comes back out and she is about to get us the punt of the game. Okay. So it takes a beautiful roll down to the 14 yard line. That's a 50 plus yard punt where the returner is going to pick it up and get tackled not too long after there. Now I'm going to give just one little tip for punting because this is easily one of the hardest things to do in football if you don't have any guidance, okay? So there's a spot near the middle of the ball, a little bit closer to the front, where if you hit it, it's gonna cause the ball to spiral, okay? Which is gonna make your punt go further and higher. It's kind of the optimal path for kicking a punt. So learning how to control your drop and hit that spot consistently will cause you to be the best punter in this league by a mile. And on screen, I'm gonna show you essentially where that spot is. If you learn this one trick, you're going to revolutionize the game and probably immortalize yourself as a female punter. For what it's worth, the next punt looks like it had the potential to spiral and goes 35 yards in the air. So that's pretty fire. And perhaps Kim Kimmel will be, you know, the next Ray guy, or should I say Ray gal? But I'm just going to wrap it up here because I was genuinely impressed with some of the special teams play I saw because I know the specialists at the WFL aren't really getting as much guidance on form and technique and whatnot that, you know, the men kind of get. I mean, even on the men's side of football, we literally have camps, private coaches, essentially the whole nine yards to master these abilities, and we still have guys messing it up. Kudos to you all for pioneering the way in this field. Uh, once again, I really hope none of this came across as sort of uh, like talking down or offensive or insulting. And I will be in the comments moderating, making sure that you MF and couch warriors down there who would easily get smacked around in this league don't come down here with any sort of hateful comments. But Here's my recommended video, and here's the YouTube's algorithm pick. So let me know which pick you like better. But as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and peace.